become part of our family as we gather for worship. Welcome to St. John Lutheran Church in the name of Christ our Lord. A couple of notices as we move forward. Uh, we still are collecting, especially uh, baby formula. Everybody knows the need. We have a bassinet in the back where you are gathering. You can drop it off there anytime you'd like. Um, communion today, and as we've been doing since our in-person uh, worship has continued, is offered in, in three ways. The miracle meals, which are in the back, you can take. You can have that and use that in your pew. You can bring it to the rail. Or you can gather at the rail with us for communion. Um, I sent out a letter, letter earlier this week addressing the uptick in COVID cases that we've seen here in Bacon County and even here in our church. Uh, we are not mandating anything. We suggest social distancing. We sit in family groups. You're still welcome to the altar pastor and the assistants will wear a mask as we are communing with you. But it is still just a suggestion. It's at your comfort level. We just want to make your worship experience uh, authentic and safe. So please do as you see fit, as you're comfortable with, and join us in worship. That said, Pastor, let us do what God has called us to do. Let us worship. Trusting in the word of life given in baptism, we are gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who calls us beloved children, who gathers us into one flock, and who guides us into all truth. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins, trusting that God will forgive us. Kneel if able. <laughs> Faithful and just God, I, I confess, confess that I am captive to doubt and fear, bound by the ways that lead to death. I have not loved my sisters and brothers as you love me. Forgive me, God of mercy. Let your Holy Spirit work in me to change my life and make me new, that I may know the abundant life given me in Jesus Christ, my risen Lord. Amen. In this is love. Not that we loved God, but that God loves us and sent the Son to atone for our sins. In the name of Jesus Christ, I announce that your sins are forgiven. Let the perfect love of God cast out fear and fill us with joy and inspire us to love others. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Because he lives, I live. Hallelujah. Hymn 804 in the back part of your hymnal. 804. <laughs>
grace of God, our Father, the love of Jesus, our Savior, and the power and presence of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also Yeah. 
Thessalonica and a Roman colony. We remained in this city for some days. On the Sabbath day, we went outside the gate by the river where we supposed there was a place of prayer. And we sat down and spoke to the woman who had gathered us. A certain woman named Lydia, a worshiper of God, who was listening to us, she was from the city of Tyre and a dealer in purple cloth. The Lord opened her heart to listen eagerly to what was said by Paul. When she and her household were baptized, she urged us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed upon us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. John's vision of a new Jerusalem coming out of heaven provides continuity with God's past actions. Yet in this new city, God's presence replaces the temple, and the glory of God and the Lamb supplants sun and moon. A reading from Revelation. And in the spirit he carried me away to a great high mountain, and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. I saw no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord God, the Almighty, and the Lamb. And the city has no need of sun or moon to shine on it, for the glory of God is its light, and its lamp is the Lamb. The nations will walk by its light, and the kings of the earth will glory, will bring their glory into it. Its gates will never be shut by day, and there will be no night there. People will bring into it the glory and the honor of the nations, but nothing unclean will enter it, nor anyone who practices abomination or falsehood, but only those who are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, bright as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb through the middle of the street of the city. On either side of the river is the tree of life with its twelve kinds of fruit, producing its fruit each month, and the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. Nothing accursed will be found there anymore, but the throne of God and the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads, and there will be no more night. They need no light or lamp or sun. For the Lord God will be their light, and they will reign forever and ever. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We stand for the reading of the gospel. <laughs> So that when 
when it does occur, you may believe the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let the church say Amen. Amen. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. I did have someone laugh and smile after I said that. I said, well, good. At least I left them a feeling of joy and, and happiness just by saying that. They didn't come into the building. They have places to go. But at least they felt good at that moment. And I feel especially happy because Andrew will receive God's name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and God will remember Andrew's name because of that relationship of love that endures forever through the gift of God's Son, Jesus Christ, in baptism. So happy baptism day, Andrew, and that day will be with you forever because it brings us into a relationship with God forever. So, um, I have a tendency to misplace things, or maybe I should just say I lose things. And I say some things I'm still looking for, I haven't found them yet, but I think they'll show up, maybe in a likely place, but they'll show up, and then again, maybe not, maybe not. So um, I, I like the toy stories, all the toy story movies. And the very first one, I was so enthralled by it, especially with Woody and Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> and, and for some reason, Woody got separated from Andy. And, uh, and, and, and all the other toys that were somewhat lost with, uh, with uh, Woody were wondering, why, why do you think Andy is going to find you? And he says, Dad, it is so easy. And he took his cowboy boot, lifted it up. I can't get up this high to lift up my shoe. And underneath, underneath was the word A N D Y. Andy. He says, I belong to Andy, and Andy knows that what what he has made his own, he will find you. He will, he will rescue you. So I share that story every time there's a baptism because it just speaks about God's name placed on us because his love for us and that we belong to him and that uh, he places that name on us and he remembers our name because we belong to God forever. So this is what I was looking for. I had shared this story so many times. Allison, yes, Allison, same name. Can you believe that? She's the sponsor of Andrew, along with Patrick. And so Allison, I don't think she drew this during the sermon. I don't think she, my sermons are not long enough for a beautiful masterpiece like this. But here's Woody the Cowboy. Here's Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. Here's a footprint of Woody's shoe. And there's the word Andy. And then, of course, this is the symbol of the Church St. David, where I would preach the sermon about the, the Toy Story, Woody and Buzz Lightyear, and all the toys in relationship to Andy. And uh, so I found it. And I get to show it to you. If you want an up-close look, I'll put it out there so you can look at it. And I'm so glad you painted it in bright colors, because as you get older, I need to see something that's bright <laughs> and bold. And she was thinking for, uh, for me. So, I see in, in the scriptures of the book of Revelation, it speaks about baptismal references, about the river of water of life, the brightest crystal flowing from the throne of God and the Lamb in the middle of the street of the city, which is the new Jerusalem that comes down from heaven. This is a vision of John that offers the assurance to those who are experiencing trouble, who are experiencing difficulty, who are experiencing persecution, to keep the faith in a world that does not offer a lot of peace, but a lot of tragedy and hardship and war. So the water of life, uh, the water of life is our baptismal font here. And there is water in there, you'll hear me splashing, maybe Andrew will have his hand there splashing away too. Uh, but it will show that this water, this symbol, is a life-giving presence of God, to keep us clean and washed with his love, so that nothing can separate us from the love of Jesus Christ. And then it goes on to 
saying in this vision, the throne of God and of the Lamb will be it, and his servants will worship God, and they will see God's face, and God's name will be placed on their foreheads. Now, I'm not going to write the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit on Andrew's forehead, but with oil, I'm going to make the sign of the cross, saying that he belongs to Christ, and Christ belongs to him through the gift of Jesus' death and resurrection. And forever, God will be his God, and he will be a child of God forever. Also in the Gospel of John, uh, in chapter 10, which was a couple Sundays prior to this, Jesus talked about, I am the good shepherd, and he also refers to the gatekeeper of the sheep pen. He says, he, the sheep, the gatekeeper, which is the shepherd, he calls out his own sheep by name and leads them out to greener pastures, to the water, to safety and graves. So again, this is a relationship of love that God brings to Andrew, to you, and to me, through this gift, an uh, outward a sign of God's gift through water, but also an eternal and visible sign of God's presence through the Spirit that teaches us this truth. That we belong to Christ, and Christ belongs to us. One of my favorite songs I learned at the youth gathering, of course it's the youth gathering, uh, they are full of energy, and of course I'm filled up with energy when I'm with them, and I remember that song. Not all the verses, but at least the refrain. In the name of the Father and the Son and of the Spirit, I belong. In the name of the Father and the Son and of the Spirit, we belong. That's one of those refrains, if you say it a lot, you won't forget it. So that's, that's some shows of the attachment that God gives to Andrew, to you, to me, and to anyone wants to receive this peace that endures forever and cannot be destroyed by what goes on in the world. So, without delay, I did say the sermon was short, but now we go into the actual gift of the baptism. So, in our book of worship, go to the front portion of the book of worship, and it'll be on page, look at the bottom, look at the bottom, it will be on page 227, and you'll see the word holy baptism and also symbols of people gathered around the living water, the font. So at this time, I'll be coming down to the font to do the order of service. And uh, Andrew may come up, Stephanie may come up, Allison and Patrick, the sponsors, you may come up. And uh, Patrick, you hold the book, and Nick, you hold the book. I might have a toy. And, and, and you hold on to your toy. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> no promises. God, who was rich in mercy and love, given us a new birth into a living hope through the sacrament of baptism. By water and the word, God delivers us from sin and death and raises us to new life in Jesus Christ. There it goes. <laughs> we found it. There we go. We are united with all the baptized in the one body of Christ, anointed with the gift of the Holy Spirit, and joined in God's mission for the life of the world. Sponsors, at this time, will you present Andrew for baptism together? Say, I present Andrew for baptism. I present Andrew for baptism. Called by the Holy Spirit, trusted into the grace and love of God, do all of you desire to have Andrew baptized into Christ? If so, say, I do. I do. You are to bring Andrew to receive the gift of baptism, and you are entrusted with these responsibilities. To live with Andrew among God's faithful people, to bring Andrew to the Word of God and Holy Supper, teach Andrew the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, the Ten Commandments, and I place in his hands the Holy Scriptures, and nurture him in faith and prayer, so that Andrew may learn to trust God, proclaim Christ through word and deed, care for others and the world God made, and work for justice and peace. 
Do you promise to help Andrew grow in the Christian faith and life? If so, say, I do. I do. Sponsors, do you promise to nurture Andrew in the Christian faith as you are empowered by God's Spirit and to help him live in the covenant, which is the word for promise, of baptism and in communion with the church? If so, say, I do. People of God, do you promise to support Andrew and pray for him in his new life in Christ? If so, say, we do. We do. Now I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? People of God, repeat after me, I renounce them. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? People of God, repeat after me, I renounce them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? People of God, say, I renounce them. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born by the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters by your word, and you created the world, calling forth life in which you took the life. Through the waters of the flood, you delivered Noah and his family, and through the sea, you led your people, Israel, from slavery into freedom. At the river, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. And by the baptism of Jesus' death and resurrection, you set us free from the power of sin and death and raised us up to live in you. Pour out your Holy Spirit, the power of your living word, that those who are washed in the waters of baptism may be given new life. To you be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us now as we bring Andrew close to the water. He wants to put his hands in you. <laughs> Andrew, I baptize you in the name of the Father. <laughs> and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a resort town. We're supposed to go in the water. Yeah, right? Go for it. He doesn't want to stop. Let him play. Blessed be God, the source of all life, the word of salvation, and the spirit of mercy. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Okay, that's you. <laughs> we give you thanks, O God, through water and the Holy Spirit. You give your daughters and sons new birth, and you cleanse them from sin and raise them to eternal life. Sustain. Sustain Andrew with the gift of your Holy Spirit 
the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence. Amen. Amen. Andrew, child of God, you have been sealed with the Holy Spirit and marked with the cross of Christ forever. Amen. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At this time, the candle. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Let us welcome the newly baptized child of God, Andrew. Together, we welcome you into the body of Christ and into the mission we share. Join us in giving thanks and praise to God and bearing God's created and redeeming word to all of the world. Amen. Amen. Welcome. Say hi to Andrew, everybody. There you go. He loves the attention. He loves the attention. Doesn't he love it? He loves the water. Yeah, come on back. Come on back. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. We're working on waiting. Set free from captivity to sin and death, 
We pray to the God of resurrection for the church, people in need, and all of creation. God of new life, open your church to the unexpected ways your spirit is at work. Guide bishops, pastors, deacons, and lay leaders in their visioning, partnership, and plan. Surround us with your peace. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give a vision of increase and abundant harvest for farmers, laborers, and gardeners who are beginning their growing season. Join their efforts with the goodness of creation to feed all living things. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Shine your light of wisdom and peace among nations. When those in power seek to assert dominance over others, confound their ways and make them yield to your humble authority. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give safe haven to those who seek healing, liberation, or peace. Especially we, we pray today for our friend Bella Venus Che, who is a refugee in Germany. Create places filled with hospitality where hurting people find your loving presence and wholeness. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Uphold the work of ministries and organizations in our communities who assist people <coughs> experiencing homelessness, citizens returning from prison, and all marginalized people. Accomplish your will through their efforts. God, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Assemble your people at rivers, streams, and fonts where we remember our baptism and we welcome others into the communion of saints. Welcome, Andrew. Gather us with those who have died, those we name in our hearts before you, when we meet together at your river of life. God, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. In your mercy, O oh God, respond to these prayers and renew us by your life-giving Spirit, through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. You may be seated.
Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Body of Christ given for you. Body of Christ given to 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 you.
Savior, Jesus Christ, strengthen you and keep you in God's grace. Let us stand. 